I'm back. Never fails. I'm back. <laughs> oh man. And I am stoked. Seems like I haven't been here in a year. It's only been about three and a half, four weeks, but geez, I've been bundled up inside for a long time. Wow, it feels great to be here. Pretty unlikely I'm gonna make it all the way through the forest down to the lake without catching at least one tree across the driveway. But hey, my wife is doing much better, she's pretty much through it. The odd cough here and there, that kind of thing, and still a little bit of a lack of energy, but she's getting there. And my daughter's doing great as well, still on the puffers uh, from COVID, but I'm hoping that she'll be off them soon and she'll be back to like full capacity in her lungs. So greatly want to say thanks. Big thanks to all of you great folks for all of your kind comments of support and your well wishes. Uh, it was just, so overwhelming some days i actually read a lot of the comments to them throughout the the couple of weeks and it kind of lift their spirits and make them feel good and i i can't thank you enough for that it was really nice of you and i also want to send out a special note of thanks to my neighbor guy him and coda came down every couple of days just to check on the cabin especially through the cold days didn't even have to ask him hell of a nice neighbor him and husky bob oh and me I'm doing great. I gotta be honest. I, I I assume I must have caught that Omicron or whatever variant while I was at home taking care of them. Um, Cause I didn't isolate from them. I didn't, you know, second them to their bedrooms or anything. I was with them 24 hours a day some days and a lot of hours most days. And uh, I'll be honest folks, I there was the odd day I might've had a bit of a scratchy throat or a tiny little headache for a little bit. But honest to goodness, that was it. That was the extent of it. So. I can only assume I must have caught it being that close to them for so many weeks confined in that little house of ours, but either way, I did great. I also wanted to thank you folks for all of the information that you shared about your own experiences with COVID over the last two years. And, you know, it just kind of revalidates what we hear on the news and, and what we've, you know, heard from our friends. It affects all of us differently. I mean, for you folks, it's kind of similar to me. A lot of you said that you got it, but you really, you know, other than a sore throat, maybe a headache or a bit of a fever for a day or two, you were fine. And went right from there to some of you that had similar issues to my wife and my daughter. And to some of you that said that you had it so bad that you were hospitalized for up to several weeks at a time. A couple of you said that you actually had turned into pneumonia on you. So I, I greatly appreciate you sharing those experiences because I, I think it is just kind of what we're hearing in the news. It, we're all different people, we have different immune systems, and we all deal or are able to manage different types of viruses or flus differently. So I'm pretty happy that I, I didn't come down with anything worse than that because it, you know, it was a lot of work, as you know, when you're looking after a few people at once. But uh, really happy I was able to stay healthy, and I really appreciate you folks sharing it. I do have to say though, that I think there's one big contributor as to why I don't get sick. In fact, other than when I felt a little sick after the last vaccination, 
I can't tell you the last time I had a cold or the flu or anything. It's been years. And I think there's just one big contributor to that. Now, of course, this is the world according to GP, but, and you may not subscribe to this, but I honestly believe it's because of that. It's being outside, staying active, whether it's negative 20 like it is right now outside, or it's positive 20. Stay active every day, get outside, get some fresh air, stay in the outdoors if you've got property, you know, bucking wood, splitting firewood, operating the tractor and doing those things. Being out in fresh air and a beautiful environment, I think lends a lot or tends to lend a lot to being healthy or staying healthy. At least that's what I think. Plus it kind of balances out all of those bad things I do or that some of us do, <laughs> or bad habits. So hey, I'm just pulling up now. So I'm gonna get her parked, get this truck unloaded, get inside, get settled in, and I guess I'll see you back outdoors anytime now. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. Cheers.